I live in China for last 30 years. <laughs> 30 years in China. China's, I think, none of the country in the world can grow so fast. fast like Welcome back to Blessings World. It's King Quest once again. If you are here for the first time, you love our content on our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share and be part of this family. Today, I met this man in the city of Weihai. He has a unique story, so I asked him to share this story with the world. So please, let's enjoy this video as I welcome this man to the channel. Subscribe and be part of the family. Um, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Questy. And what's your name, sir? My name is Raymond Lim. Raymond Lim. Yeah. Um, are you from China? I know. I'm from Singapore. From Singapore? Yes. And um, you live in China? I live in China for last 30 years. <laughs> 30 years in China? Yes. Wow. How has the experience been living in China? Well, of course, if I can stay here for so long, means I'm get quite get used to the environment here and you know, the food, everything to me is okay. It's okay, right? Uh, so how was um, China 30 years ago? If you compare your life when you came here 30 years ago and now, is there a bit of a difference now? Wow. A big difference. It's not a bit of difference. It's a big, big difference. Uh, you know, when I came to China, so we talk about, let's say, just talk about transportation. Okay. A place you want to go for four hours today, maybe half an hour, one hour, you know. Because during that time when I came, there's no such, uh, such thing as highway. Nothing at all, no, no speak train, all this and that, you know, so it, it's quite difficult. And then uh, not much car. <laughs> no, no, not so many cars at that not time. Not so many cars, a lot of uh, bicycles, bicycles. <laughs> motor, <laughs> motorcycles, you know. So taxi even don't have. For 30 years ago, don't have taxi. It's all actually uh, illegal, uh, you know, uh, transport. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what have you been doing in China for the last 30 years? I'm all the way, since all the time I'm doing food processing. Because in Singapore, I'm also doing food, seafood processing. Okay. You know, so, I came to China, also do the, the, the same, same trade, kind of yeah, job. The same kind. Yeah. Um, so, do you live in China with your family? No. So, have you been living alone for the this past 30 years? This is very strange because uh, mm. Singapore woman, Singapore married women uh, they don't have good impression in China about China yes you know so uh, my wife came just two weeks a month then we go back <laughs> wow so um, can you tell us some of the cities that you've lived in the last 30 years of your life in China well I stay in Guangzhou for two years then Beijing for two years then after that I uh, so-called permanently stay in Shanghai for 16 years. Wow. So after 16 years, I moved to Weihai here because of, you know, uh, Shanghai is a very expensive place. Okay. You know, including uh, uh, workers, all this and that. It's very difficult to, to get workers. So I moved to Weihai 10 years ago. How do you compare life as a, as a businessman in China? Mm -hmm. As a foreigner doing a business in China, mm -hmm. how, how is it like? Do, are there any challenges that you faced when you go to China as a businessman? Yeah, of course. Because of uh, different culture, uh, different thinking, you know. So, uh, of course, I had to take quite uh, some time to, you know, to get familiar with them, to, uh, you know, accommodate with them. Uh, of course, firstly, when I come for the first 10 years, I'm, I'm actually struggling at all all the time is struggling because you don't understand their culture mm. you don't understand their character you know so very difficult especially during that time workers are not skillful right most of the workers are not skillful and when you tell them to do this and that they they found that, that you are something like <laughs> different one. right yeah you, you are something like are you a god you know how can you tell me do this do that it's impossible to them it's impossible you know yeah. Like, for example, very simple thing are like cleaning when you want to wear, you know, a nice, uh, 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 
uniform, body and that. Huh? Tell them to wear properly every day, you know, have to clean your hand, all this. They feel very surprised. My hand is clean, why am I so wash? <laughs> you know, all these sort of things uh, during that time. Of course, now, that's why I say in China, they changed tremendously for the past 30 years. I see from scratch to today. China's, I think, none of the country in the world can grow so fast. Plus, like China? Yes, no. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, like, we, we also have been here for eight years and we can see the level of development that China is going. It's very fast. Yes. And um, if you are to describe China, if you are to describe China in one word, describe China, your experience in China in one word, what would it be? <laughs> in one way? Just one yes. word to describe China. Your experience, overall experience in China in one word. It's incredible. Unbelievable. Unbelievable? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what one thing do you like about China? What I like China. Actually, I, I feel that it's much... I'm a Singaporean. Nah? Right. I have more freedom in China. You have more freedom in China than your own country, Singapore. That's, that's, that's quite wonderful to know. Okay, that's one thing you like about China. You have freedom in China. What is one thing you don't like about China that you don't like in your life living in China for 30 years? One thing you don't like about China? A little bit of, uh, of course. Uh, it doesn't mean that Singapore is no good. Right. But Singapore is a very lawful country. country. So, what I don't like is in China here. Sometimes you cannot talk about law. <laughs> right. Uh, if you go to a certain city, certain small small town city, there's no way for you to reason with the police. Uh, right. You know, even you are right when they say you are wrong. You are, you are wrong. wrong. This is what I don't like. Right. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing your experience living in China. And okay, if there are other people like you from your country who want to come to China to do business, what do you want to tell them? Well, I tell them they have to adopt into, you know, their way of uh, working system, their character, all this and that. Doesn't mean they are wrong because sometimes, as I say with the police men, all this, they are from a small town. They never go to the world and see how how's the outside world. Right. So they don't understand. They Because since young, they are like that. I say wrong is wrong because I'm the police. Right. So you, you have to... You know, to you, obey. you have to bear with it, right. you see, because they're born in such a, such a way. Right. Something like our children, if you, from young you teach them this way, they can't be, become this way, you know. So they never see the, you know, the outside world, so sometimes. But now is this, that's why I say tremendously, because these 30 years, they improve a lot. Now they are follow up, catching up very fast. All right. Yeah. So um, before I let you go, I don't want to take so much of a time. We all has been hit by COVID, right? Mm -hmm. What is one thing that has affected your business because of COVID? Well, of course, COVID is actually affected, affected so much because uh, in China, actually not so serious, not so serious, but uh, for the export, all this and that. Uh, and uh, maybe also the same, a lot of people don't know China today, you know, they develop until today. To what I see, China controlling the COVID mm -hmm. uh, is best in the world. Right. You know, but there's still many country people don't understand. So they don't buy from us, you know. <laughs> you know, so they, they are worried that, you know, there is COVID, all this and that. Uh, but for China itself, to me, I felt it's okay because you, we, we still can survive because right. of the, the in, inside local... <coughs> consuming because I'm doing food All right. other business I didn't know I don't know but uh, for food I think it's still okay still okay only thing of course less 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 uh, ex expenditure I know because they cannot go out you know right. so this is uh, more or, or more or less uh, affected affected yeah. right alright thank you so much for talking to me Welcome. Thank you so much for, for sharing your experience How living in China. You? you are Mr. <laughs> no, you can just call me Kwesi. Kwesi? Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so much for sharing your experience living in China for the past 30 years. Welcome. And I think people that watch this video, it will help them to make good decisions about China. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much, sir. Thank okay. you so much. Okay.